Good morning, and welcome to what looks like it might be another nice day in Winnipeg. Yeah, okay, now let's sort of get right into it today, as soon as that noisy truck goes by. Okay, we are going to take some CA thick here. I know it doesn't say thick here because the label peeled off, but this is CA thick. And we're going to try and make up a little gusset here. And oh, one, one uh, sidebar you might say. Uh, got, a, got a picture from Gabe. And he sent a, a photograph of what he was actually using these little uh, simulated weights for. And when you see it, it makes a whole lot of sense. So we'll try and remember to dub it in later. Uh, okay, let's let's recompose here. Let's get our our uh, macro lens on and uh, get ourselves lined up and uh, move right in. Now I had been considering the idea of putting the CA glue on and forming our little gusset right out of the bottle here. But, uh, you know, or if I was to put on one of those adapters that sort of steps it down and it has a very, very fine tip, the CA is so thick it doesn't really want to squeeze out of that. So we're going to be using the applicator here as best we can. And uh, I'm going to try not to bump this out of place here because it probably won't take a, a whole lot to, to move it. So we'll just try and get some CA here. I only basically get one shot at this. I'm going to sort of put it around the top and let it sort of run down. I don't use the uh, thick very often, do I? But the only time I use the thick is when I mix some thin with it and make medium. Okay, this... Are we moving this out of place here now? Maybe I'm not putting enough on. This probably takes about three minutes to actually... actually cure. There, we're, we're getting down now. Not as fast as I'd like, though. Yeah, I'm starting to form a gusset now. I think I'm just going to do one more, one more application of it. Come in from the other side here. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing because it's on the other side of me. Mind you, this is this is the underside of everything. So yeah, I think that that's going to flow and be fairly even, and it's also going to you know, reinforce the lap joint. So yeah, I think it'll be all right. I'll give it a few minutes there, and if it doesn't seem to be uh, curing, then I'll maybe put a little bit of curing agent on it. I just pushed record again. Look what's almost getting his feet stuck in there. Okay, about uh, five minutes has passed here, and I've dealt with the fly. I'm just going to a little bit, a little bit of curing agent just run down there. That that should be enough to 
to kick it off. Okay, I'm guessing a couple of minutes has passed here. I didn't actually time it. I did leave the camera running with the hopes that the uh, time lapse thing would work. Let's see if is it hard now or is it still soft? No, oh, it's still soft on it down there. Well, maybe I better put on a little bit more. You know what? It could also be that this uh, CA is so old it's not working in real well anymore. Just put it on here. Let it there. That's that'll be lots. If that doesn't work, nothing will. Okay. Let's test it out again. It looks a little bit different from last time. No, it is still soft. It is still soft. Oh my goodness. I would have thought that for sure by now it would have been pretty hard. I'm going to have to buy myself some uh, more CA. sunrise this morning might be what you might call a smoky sunrise again. Yeah, it would have been a lot nicer if the sun had arose into a deep blue sky, but that's not what happened. Reality is, it rose into a smoky sky. And, uh, yeah, well, I like to tell it like it is. No use trying to dub in a bunch of deep blue sky. I could probably do that if I wanted to, but, uh, uh, yeah, then it wouldn't be real, and I like to keep it real. Now, it did have you wait, what you might call, um, I guess you would call it maybe a loving ending. Yeah, a romantic ending. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of nice to see as well, even though the sky was gray. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing at least an hour has passed here while well, I edited out everything you've seen up until right now and I have not checked this, but if it's still soft, we might have a problem. No, it's not acting like uh, jelly. I, th I, think it's, I think it's hard now. But I'm not going to test it for strength. I'm going to wait a while. It could be that it's not a hundred percent cured, but I, I think it's, you know, if I'm very careful, we're not going to break it off. That's the plan. Okay, this kit is not going to make itself. We are basically done this, except for the painting, of course. And uh, I think I mentioned this, this thing here. I think we already did it. In fact, I'm sure we did, because I remember making two of them. Seems to me we spent three months on that. Anyway, we got uh, L47 and L48 here. And uh, let's try and find those. I don't think we need to have separate tins for these. They're going to be pretty obvious. Now, normally what I do, in fact, I don't know if I have ever done before exactly what I'm going to do right now. You'll notice right, right there you can see where the sprue was connected to the edge of this thing. I've, I've just nipped it off just roughly. I didn't, I didn't sand it or file it down like I normally do. I think what I'm going to do is 
put these together first and then see if I can't maybe work on the connection. It might possibly be a little bit flatter. Um, at least uh, just sort of an, another experiment, you know, just another experiment. And I'll probably use the uh, uh, Tamiya quick setting. Where is it? Okay, I am sort of wondering now if possibly when I was applying my glue and then holding it, the parts together in my fingers, if maybe I didn't squeeze a little bit too hard because you can see here where the you know, it sort of oozed itself out of the crack and is now looks like we've got a molding seam that I'm going to have to scrape off. But at least I know there isn't going to be a, a, a void there if I, uh, you know, take my time and do it right. Well, let's uh, take our time and do it right. Okay, after I got finished filing and scraping and gouging and sanding, I uh, went over it with Tamiya extra thin to try and get rid of some of the marks there. I was trying to preserve those uh, those rings, or there's those two rings, the one right at the very top and the one halfway down. So I was trying to be extra careful not to sand those off. I think I, for the most part I didn't do too badly. Uh, and I do think that once this is painted, you know, the, these lines that you're seeing reflecting really bad right now, I, I don't think we're going to see those. Once it's painted with uh, with flat, uh, well, this this piece will be uh, the 19. Now, about Gabe's ballast with the broad arrows molded into it. Um, okay, we got a couple of photographs as I'd mentioned earlier, and uh, this first photograph that I'm going to show you here. Uh, it's uh, the ship that he's working on, and you can see in the in the uh, in the bottom of the ship where he's got these weights and uh, what they're for. And the, now the second photo is of the uh, uh, HMS Victory, I believe, and that that's the real thing. Uh, that that's interesting. Uh, it's really nice that. Uh, the uh, British people, you know, preserved that ship. Mind you, it's nice that the American people have preserved the Iowa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, it, it's nice when people preserve stuff, is what I'm trying to say. Now, if they could just preserve the Texas out of the water, they'd, they'd have it all figured out. Uh, <laughs> but we don't want to go there again, do we? No, not to be outdone here. Canada preserves stuff too. Now you got to remember, we're just a little country. Little in population. I think we're only around 40 million people now. Well, there's some cities that are almost that big. I think Tokyo's almost that big. And <laughs> that's just one city. Anyway, yeah, we do preserve stuff. In fact, uh, there's an airplane on display that my dad flew and that I flew in when I was five years old. And it's in a museum here in Canada. Yeah, if you're interested, I'll uh, send you the link. Late yesterday afternoon, I did get out on my bike. If you'll recall, I was kind of concerned about what was the weather going to be. Well, it turned out that it was really, really nice. I left at 547 and I came back at 646. Uh, so that's uh, one minute less than an hour. I think that's probably the most I've sat on the bike so far at any given time, sort of like non-stop. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I was glad I went. The uh, weather cleared up and by the time I got back it was actually quite balmy. Um, yeah, and uh, it looks like it might be nice again today. Okay. That's that. Now, to make this part up, we need this and this piece here, which is so fragile I hardly even want to look at it. 
Okay, so that's going to have to go on the top of there. So we got that. And then this piece we've made right here. And by the way, I don't know if you're going to be able to notice it, but we got the, uh, the we got the piece pretty straight. You know, like when I'm rotating it like this, you don't see a bunch of wobble on that little plastic part on the top there. It's, it's, <laughs> we lucked out, in other words, for a change. Okay, so that's going to have to go right here. I think maybe I'll put it back where it's, uh, where it's kind of safe. Okay, and I don't drop it. And don't squash anything else. All right. Now, we, we do have some more radar units in there that are made up for somewhere. Um... Okay, so we got that. Now this this piece here, we need to mount right there in that square hole to help hold this thing in. So we'll put that back. Okay, I do believe we've got everything to to complete this section except that some of this stuff isn't painted yet. So uh, uh, we don't want to be s sticking it together until it's painted. Now this this piece here. What, what color did we paint this part here? I think we did this one in the uh, in the 19 as well. So it, it could uh, it could actually go on there and then afterwards. Well, we'll worry about it when the time comes. There we go. Yeah, something like that. I don't know if I got it the right way around. It could be I've got it the wrong way. Let's see here. Okay, that's this. This is this is this side here. Um, and no, it's it's the wrong way. Okay, there we are. Because the uh, it shows that the the railing is on the front. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I think we I think we have basically all our stuff. We just got to do some painting, and I don't feel like starting painting now. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and today is Friday. So uh, yeah. I'm going to call it quits for today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to stay nice. Let me see if I can show you out there. It's it's kind of nice. A while ago it almost looked like it was going to rain, so I, I don't know. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>